welcome back to my channel. I'm James. Today I've got another exciting and brand new episode in my very popular and highly requested ongoing video series. Top upcoming movies and TV series 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray releases, big 4K movie announcements, reveals, Collector's Film Chat episode number 28. Now, in this ongoing video series, I always share big announcements and reveals of all these exciting upcoming 4Ks and Blu-rays of big titles that all of you need to be aware of so that way you don't miss out on them. Now, all of the previous videos in the series always pick up on the date range where this one starts. So this one picks up immediately following where the last video ended on. And then at the end of every video, I throw in some big announcements of limited edition sets you need to be aware of that are farther out in the future. So I always continue this series so that way you get this as an ongoing series, letting you know every single month what titles you need to be aware of so you don't miss out on getting any of these. And boy, do we have a lot of exciting stuff to cover in today's video. Now, it's always very important. If you're gonna buy or add any of these to your collection, always go down and use those direct Amazon sale links I've pinned as a comment in the comment section right below this video. Those links down there never cost you, the viewer, even a penny extra, but they do make a difference in the creation of these videos. The only way I can always continue to do all these videos is through you, my viewers and subscribers support, through using those direct Amazon sale links right down there below. So if you decide you're gonna buy or add any of these to your collection, always go down and use those direct Amazon sale links right down there below. Now, starting off on April 23rd, we're getting The Beekeeper. This is the David Ayer film, and it actually has Jason Statham in it. Now, I will tell you, I talked directly with the director, David Ayer himself, and actually, I ended up originally on my original post getting it shared by him as well and had over like 45,000 views on it. But I did talk with him about the audio on this. He did share with me, he personally worked on the Dolby Atmos audio mix for the physical media release that's coming out on 4K. He did share with me that he thinks it's a reference quality Dolby Atmos mix that will shock all of us. He said he thinks it's one of the best ones that he's worked on. It sounds incredibly immersive. And he said he's very excited for all of us to get to experience it when this comes out. Now, I usually get titles like this in about a week before the release date so I can test and review and analyze them for all of you to let you know the quality of these. It is being released as a native 4K with HDR10 and as I said, English Dolby Atmos. So after talking with the director about this release, I am hoping it's as good as he says it is because this could be a pretty darn exciting release. It's the 2023 action Jason Statham thriller and I will tell you it's a pretty darn good film too. Now continuing same day and date we're getting the shout select Rolling Thunder. And this is the 1977 film. It is getting a brand new 4K scan of the original 35 millimeter camera negative, along with a brand new Dolby Vision and HDR10 Master. It'll also have a bunch of brand new special features, including brand new audio commentaries, and it will have the brand new transfer on the Blu-ray disc as well. Now this is one Shout did let me know they are planning to send to me early for review, so I should have this one in early for review to test out and analyze for all of you as well, this is one I'm excited to check out because it's a pretty darn good 70s film. So I always get excited when we get new scans and new 4K releases of films like this. Now all of these I've put directly as a pinned comment in the comment section below. So if you're wanting to pre-order or buy this, those are all down there below. Now, one of the biggest releases coming out for me personally is The Departed, the Martin Scorsese crime drama. It's got some good action in it. It's a very engrossing and entertaining film with some amazing performances by a massive amount of cast that's in it, a big named who's who's that's in it. Now we are getting this in two different flavors. We're getting it in a limited edition steelbook and a standard 4K case. Now the standard 4K case was announced basically almost three weeks after the initial limited edition steelbook release, but they are going to release it in a standard case. Now I'm personally excited about the limited edition steelbook and that is what I should be getting in early for of you to test and analyze for all of you. I will tell you this did get a brand Brand new 4K digital restoration and an HDR10 master. And this is one of those that I am hoping is done correctly because it's one of those films I've requested for a very long time from Warner Brothers. It is finally coming out and it is one of Martin Scorsese's 
best films. If you have not seen this one yet, I cannot recommend it enough. It is one of his best that he's done. Now, if you want a recommendation of another really good Martin Scorsese film, that would be Hugo on 4K Ultra HD. I previously reviewed the limited edition 4K release, and I did an exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison here on this channel. That video is available right now if you have not checked out that release yet. It's by Arrow Video. It's a very good film. Now, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to go down and give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Now, staying with April 23rd, we're getting Nostalgia from 1983. And this is getting a brand new 4K scan and restoration, along with a brand new Dolby Vision and HDR10 Master. I can tell you for this film, it's important that the restoration is done well because previous releases of this on Blu-ray have looked very poor. They have not been good looking at all. So I'll be very interested to see how this one turns out. This is one of those that Kino Lorber did let me know should be coming in early for review. So I should be able to dive into and check this out for you and let you know the quality of this one as well. But this is one that's a very interesting release. Hopefully it's had a very good restoration to make up for the previous poor Blu-ray releases. Now staying with the same day and date, we're getting Steel Magnolias from 1989. Now, Sony did a brand new 4K remaster of the original camera negative for its 35th anniversary. And this is getting a brand new Dolby Vision and HDR10 color grading and master. It's one of those Julia Roberts, just really early films that I really enjoy. There's a massive cast of actresses in it that are very good. The film is very, very enjoyable. I will tell you it will touch your heart. It's got some very good drama and comedy in it all mixed together. And I will tell you it's coming with a brand new English Dolby Atmos audio mix for this release. So we're really getting the whole package in this. They're including a bunch of special features that are new as well as a nice surprise of including the 1990 TV pilot remastered and restored on this set as well. So we also get the TV pilot included with the film itself. I love that Sony is starting doing that more and more with their releases, including some of the TV content onto these 4K releases. So that's a big bonus for this set. Now, any of these you're excited for, or you're looking forward to, or that you're gonna pre-order and buy, make sure to start that conversation in the comment section below. I always love to hear from all of you what you're excited about. And a lot of the times I ask what you're excited about for a specific reason. I haven't shared too much about this because I kind of like to ask and have you guys reply without you kind of knowing this, but a lot of the studios do look at my comment section to see what people are excited about as well as kind of the sales numbers of pre-orders. So I will tell you, they have let me know, they look at the comment section to see, hey, this is what people are excited about from this video. These are what people are looking forward to. So that's why I always ask all of you to make sure to comment down below with what from these announcement videos and these big reveal videos that all of you are excited about and that you're pre-ordering that way it kind of shows up there and we can kind of see hey these are all the titles people are excited about so make sure to start that comment in the comment section right down there below now another big release we're getting on april 23rd is justice league crisis on infinite earths part two in a limited edition steelbook only on 4k now I did get part one and that's available right now. This is part two of the animated ongoing series. I will tell you part one was very enjoyable and I'm looking forward to part two. It had a very nice native 4K transfer with HDR10 on it. Though they are only released in limited edition steelbooks, there has not been any standard releases of part one or part two announced at all on 4K. The only way Warner Brothers is releasing these on 4K is in these limited edition steelbooks that will sell out. I will put both part one and part two linked down below for all of you in case you haven't gotten part one yet. But the only way they're being released on 4K is in these limited edition steelbooks only Warner Brothers said. So there isn't going to be one later on. Once these sell out, both of these just won't be available. Now, if you haven't checked out my big Studio Insider information video, I just recently released it about a week ago here on this channel. There is a ton of Studio Insider information I shared about information I've gotten from directors I've talked with, studios I've talked with, conversations about restorations that are planned, restorations that are coming up, and things that are being worked on. If you haven't checked out that video yet, there's a ton of hidden announcements and exciting stuff you're going to want to watch in that video. That way you're always aware of the latest and greatest 
latest news. Just like with this video series, I'm always trying to keep all of you updated with everything that's going on so that way you know what to be excited about and what to be looking forward to. Let me tell you, there is a ton of Studio Insider information I shared in that video that you'll be very excited for. Now, staying with the same day and date, we've got some more big announcements. We're getting Black Mask, the Jet Li super soldier, super heroic action adventure film that is really one of those hidden gems. It's got some big set pieces, some really good martial arts action in it, and it originally came out in 1996. Well, it is getting a brand new 2K restoration and includes for the first time ever, all four different cuts restored onto Blu-ray. Now, as you notice, they did say it's Blu-ray. It is not coming out on 4K from anyone. This is simply a 2K restoration, so they thought the uptick in detail would be limited basically to Blu-ray, so therefore it was not put onto 4K, and it's not being planned for 4K, but it's a big release because it is a limited edition Blu-ray release only. So it will sell out, it's limited edition, there's only so many of these being printed. Now the four different cuts it's going to have is the Hong Kong cut, the US theatrical cut, the Taiwanese cut, and the extended cuts of the film. So we're getting all of that in a complete package with a ton of bonus features. And this is one limited edition set that I'm really looking forward to because I've always really enjoyed this Jet Li film. It has some really cool action sequences in it. So if you haven't checked this one out, this is one that again, it's a limited edition set, so it will sell out. Now staying with the same day and date, we're also getting Monk season six on Blu-ray. This is the brand new 4K restoration of the original TV series. I've previously reviewed this here on this channel. Seasons one through season five, I've tested, reviewed, pulled the native images from it and showed you those in this video. You can check it out right now here on this channel. I cover all of the quality of the previous five seasons and I can tell you it's been pretty darn stellar for a Blu-ray release. Really, they've done an amazing job film grain wise and depth and detail for a Blu-ray TV series. It's the best we're ever gonna get. And for Monk, it's one of those series you'll go back to and watch year after year. Highly recommend it. If you want the full review, you can watch that video. It's available right now. I'll link that video up above. Now, rounding out April 23rd, we're getting I Am Cuba, the 1964 political propaganda drama film. Not really my cup of tea, but there are a lot of folks I know that are excited about this, but it is coming out from the Criterion Collection, and it does have a brand new 4K digital restoration with an uncompressed monorail soundtrack being restored as well. So that's all coming out on 4K as well for April 23rd. Now, as always, we're gonna jump ahead here a little bit so that I can share some information with all of you about titles that are very important that you know about that are limited edition releases. I always try to include these towards the end of every video so that way you're aware of big announcements of limited edition sets that are not coming out as standard sets, which means once they sell out, they won't be printed again. I always try to make sure all of you collectors are aware because just like me, I don't like to buy things on the third party or aftermarket where they jack the prices up after the release date because they sold out. So I try to keep all of you informed. That way you can pre-order yours and not have to pay those ridiculous prices later on. So on May 21st, we're getting American Hustle in a limited edition steelbook set only. Now, for its 10th anniversary, it's getting a new native 4K transfer with Dolby Vision and HDR10 master and color grading that was approved and supervised by the original director himself, David O. Russell. And it's also coming with a director approved and supervised Dolby Atmos audio track that's brand new. I'm very excited for this release because it's a very entertaining film that'll really surprise you if you haven't watched it yet. I will tell you I did reach out to Sony and ask, is this going to be released later on in a standard case? The answer to that is no. This is a limited edition steelbook set again only. Sony's known for these. It's not planned to have a reprint later on. They said this is one of their newer line of basically they're printing more of the limited editions, but they are limited edition only. Once they sell out, they're gone. I can tell you this is one of those I'm hugely excited for though, because it is one of those films that kind of it's a hidden gem under the radar. A lot of people just, it's underrated. They didn't see it. But once you see this film, you say, man, there's so many actors in it that have really good roles got a really good story and a really engaging just chemistry between the cast. You'll sit there and be entertained from beginning to end. The fact that this is coming out with Dolby Vision, HDR10, and Dolby Atmos, and it's limited edition steelbook. I love collecting steelbooks. 
hugely excited for this one. So I did put the direct Amazon sale link for all of you right down there below. Now another big limited edition release we're also getting on May 21st is NARC. This is coming out from Arrow Video on a limited edition set. This is the 2002 crime drama thriller film. Very underrated, very enjoyable, and very good as well with Ray Liotta in it. It did get a brand new 4K restoration of its original camera negative with a new Dolby Vision and HDR10 Master. And another big treat, we get a brand new English Dolby Atmos audio mix in this set. Arrow Video adding Dolby Atmos to it and it's in a limited edition set as well. So again, another set that will sell out. That link's down there, but I will tell you this is one of those limited edition sets. I really thought the kind of graffiti artwork you see above is really cool looking. I like the idea of it. It's just kind of bright, colorful, and really eye-catching. And I do really think Aero Video has done some really good Dolby Atmos audio mixes recently. If you haven't checked out my Conan review, Conan the Barbarian, Conan the Destroyer, both of those had very good and immersive English Dolby Atmos mixes that Arrow Video did. They're also doing an English Dolby Atmos for this. So I'll be excited to check this out. If you want to check out the Conan reviews, they're available right now on this channel. Now, same day and date, we're getting the Giver from 1991. This is the superhero magna kind of just compilation video of sci-fi, action, adventure, superheroic, alien story all mixed together. It does have Mark Hamill in an early role in it. I will tell you this is one of those basically cult classic sci-fi action adventure films that has grown on me over the years. I've seen it numerous times. I do think the practical effects in it, the suit effects, they're really cool. Well, I can tell you this is getting a brand new 4K restoration of the 35 millimeter original R-rated cut onto the 4K disc. This box set is a limited edition box set. It's going to come with your 4K disc, your Blu-ray disc, and CD of the soundtrack all in a limited edition case. And for the 4K transfer that they're doing the restoration on, it's coming with HDR10, and they're bringing a remastered DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 audio mix all together in this limited edition set. I do like the artwork for this. If you have not checked out this set, I will tell you it's a limited edition set as well. They're only printing so many of these. And again, it's one of those that'll sell out. So that's why I try to make sure at the end of all these videos, I always give you announcements of things that are limited editions that will eventually sell out. That way you know about things so you don't miss out on pre-ordering them. So let me know if the Giver Limited Collector's Edition set is something you're excited about. I'm curious how many of you have ever seen this film. It is one of those kind of more under the radar, a lot of people hadn't seen. There's not too many people I talk to that remember this film, but I will tell you the practical effects, of, especially like the suit, how it grows over them. Man, that was so cool looking. I remember seeing it originally on TV and thinking, man, that was one of the coolest effects I'd ever seen. I am very curious how this is going to turn out with this new 4K restoration because the practical effects, if they do the scan and restoration correctly, because it wasn't CGI, a lot of it was practical effects, especially like the costume he had on, it should look pretty darn cool with the depth and detail on it. Now, jumping ahead a little bit here to June 11th, we have a big limited edition release in La Femme Nikita. Now, this is the 1990. Luc Besson action assassin thriller film that is very, very good. I will tell you it's very similar to a lot of what he did with Leon. If you haven't seen that film, I love that film as well. Very, very much feels like in the same universe, same kind of story going together well together. This is one of those early female-led action thrillers that's very well done and it's really slick. I will tell you this is coming out from Sony as you probably guessed by now, in a limited edition Steelbook set only. They did say this is not one they're planning on releasing again later on. It is limited edition set only in a Steelbook. There is no standard release planned or coming from Sony at all. I know a lot of you always ask me that question in the comment section below, so I tried to make sure once I find out from the studio to let you know about it so you're aware of it right away. This is one of those from Sony they said is not coming in a standard 4K case later on, just like a bunch of the other ones I announced. Limited edition steelbook only. Now I can tell you for this film, Sony did a brand new 4K restoration of the original camera negative with both a brand new Dolby Vision and HDR10 color grading and master. This is one of those that I'm very excited about, especially because it's coming out in those limited edition steelbooks. 
I love collecting every single one of these Sony limited edition steelbooks. If you haven't checked out my previous 4K versus 4K comparison review video, I did talk about some of those recent ones that they've done with their new Dolby Vision Masters on them, tested those out. I will be having a follow-up video on that series coming out here, hopefully in the next month or so, with some more 4K versus 4K exclusive comparisons to show you the difference between them, because that video has been very popular. I know a lot of you have really enjoyed seeing which 4K comes out as the winner in the side-by-side -side comparisons. Now, another limited edition set that we're getting is Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, the 2024 sequel film, in a limited edition steelbook set from Sony as well. Now, this is coming in three different flavors. We got the limited edition steelbook, there's a limited edition box set that comes with some extra swag. Basically, you're getting like some cube thing you can make into frozen ice cubes is my understanding, a little booklet, and then standard 4K cases in this little box set of two of the films, basically the more modern, reboot continuing remake series of continuing bringing the old cast together not really rebooting it all together but a soft reboot with new cast combined with the old cast as you've seen in frozen empire anyhow you're getting that box set which has both of them together and then we're also getting a standard 4k case i will link all of these down below for each one of these they are coming out later this year i don't have the exact date yet once i get that i'll update it and post that but Sony did let me know this is something coming out later this year. The pre-order links are available right now. I'll put them all down below. They are coming with both English Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, HDR10, and our native 4K transfers. So in all those box sets, they'll have the exact same Dolby Vision, HDR10 transfers with English Dolby Atmos of the film. It just depends on which one you want. If you didn't get the previous film on 4K, you could get the box set that is both together. That's a limited edition set with some extra swag. Or you can get the limited edition steelbook. That's the one I'm excited for. I love collecting steelbooks now, to be honest with you. For some reason in the last year, I've gotten very addicted to the steelbooks. And every release that comes out now that I can get on steelbook, that's the first thing I go and pre-order. I'll tell you, I'm hugely excited for the steelbook. The standard case artwork, it was fine. But the steelbook, I just like the kind of look of it overall. I'll post all of those down below as well. Now, if you want my previous review on Ghostbusters Afterlife on 4K, I previously did that here on this channel. That was a huge video. A lot of you really enjoyed that video. I did a comparison on it. I will tell you I'm a big fan of Ghostbusters Afterlife. I enjoyed it. The 4K release was very good. And I will tell you that review is available right now on this channel if you haven't checked it out yet. Now, another future release I just recently posted about is actually the Godzilla Kong MonsterVerse Limited Edition 5 Film Collector's Box Set. Wow, that's a mouthful. But anyhow, it's coming in a big box set as you can see in those images. This is a true limited edition set. They said they won't be reprinting them. Once it's gone, it's gone. It comes with all five films. It's a six disc box set with bonus special features. Supposedly there's exclusive stuff to this box set. You get the artwork, the casing, all together in a box set. Now the box set will have Dolby Vision, HDR10, and English Dolby Atmos audio mix. Now something I was asked is, and the first films in this box set, are they going to go back and add Dolby Vision to them? I didn't get an answer on this. I did ask. It states that it's coming with Dolby Vision HDR10. Maybe it's just talking about all the films that already had it. I really don't have an answer on that. It just states Dolby Vision HDR10 in English Dolby Atmos. So they might very well be adding it, the Dolby Vision, to the original films that are at the beginning of this box set because the films did come out in 2014 all the way through this year, 2024 which does include Godzilla and Kong, the new empire on 4K Ultra HD. Now there is a separate Godzilla and Kong, the new empire on 4K Ultra HD that I will post the link for down below. That announcement is coming out the same time. Both box sets are gonna be released at the same time. The pre-orders are available right now. As always, it's very important if you're wanting to buy or add any of these to your collection, I posted all of them as a pinned comment in the comment section right below this video. Those links down there never cost you, the viewer, a dime extra, but they are extremely important to the creation of all this content. The only way I can always create these videos is through you, my viewers, and subscriber support, through using those direct Amazon sale links right down there below, and joining my collector's VIP club. That VIP club only costs you a couple of bucks every month, but all of that support, when you click on those links down there, doesn't cost you anything to click on those links to show your support simply by clicking on them. I do want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your support. It means the world to me that we get to talk about these movies and share these every week with all of you. I do really appreciate every single one of your support. I do truly hope 
every one of you always has a blessed day and I've always got something new, early, exclusive, and exciting always coming out very soon.